Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make another blue hat to show my support for Lion Brand's Hat Not Hate. Now remember, if you do not want to participate in Lion Brand's Hat Not Hate, you can make this in any color that you want. Um, I have been running a crochet along. That's why you've been seeing so many hats. Um, this is my sixth hat. Tomorrow will be my last hat. I did seven in a row to show my support. Um, but this is hat number six and i will take some measurements for you now it is a snug fitting hat it's about eight inches long and it's probably going to fit about 20 um 20 and a half inch head now i have about a 20 um 20 and a half to 21 inch head and it's 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 snug on me but it fits me fine i mean i i don't mind it if you want it bigger than that i would suggest upping the hook size and i think that will make it bigger but if you are participating in the lamb brand hat not hate this would be a perfect size so it's made with the mosaic tile stitch this is an intermediate pattern it's got the wide brim on it of course you would not have to do that if you didn't want to i gotta hide some tails as always but I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. If you are uh, interested in Lion Brand's Hat and Not Hate uh, program, I took it upon myself. It's against anti-bullying. I'll put a link in the description box where you guys can look um, and go over the information to see what all they require. They just want blue hats. That's what they want, blue hats. They don't care what uh, color a uh, blue it is or what brand it is or what fiber it is they just want blue hats and then they distribute them but anyways enough about that i'll tell you how or what i use for this hat so this for this hat i use the red heart super saver it is a medium weight uh number four 100 acrylic you do not have to use this yarn any medium four weight yarn will work of course you probably will need two colors to get the same effect as as of the way it looks but if you use the same color you know it will still turn out uh the color i used is royal and this is my main color you um i guesstimate you're probably gonna need about 125 yards of your main color and then the other color i use is called turquoise and you're probably gonna need about mm, 50 to 75 yards of your um not 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 so main color <laughs> and then i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook as i mentioned if you do want to make it bigger um i would up it to a six and a half millimeter so let's go ahead and get started on this okay so what we're going to do is you want to start off with your main color I, I guess you could say um a little bit more of this color there'll be a little bit more of this color than the other as you can tell from my hat not a lot more but a little bit more so we're going to start off with a slip knot on your hook as always that's the first step now we're going to work a chain of three now we are going to slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring now if you want to use a magic circle here that's fine now whenever i do my ring i always throw my tail over grab my other yarn and I take my middle finger not meaning to point it any bad way to anybody and I stick it in the ring and then I do my slip knot that way my finger is holding open the ring now I will pull my tail tightly around my finger a lot of people have trouble in um, getting into the ring that's how I do it so then I'll chain one that chain one does not count as a stitch what we want to do now is put 12 double crochets through the center of the ring so you can pull your finger out and now you can see your ring is pretty much more a lot more visible than if you didn't put your finger through it that's just a tip you guys don't have to take that tip but i see a lot of people ask me and they struggle with that part so now we're going to go through the center of the ring and we're going to work 12 double crochets through the center of the ring All right, I got my 12 double crochets there. Now, a lot of times you can pull your tail, should close up for the most part that center circle. 
pretty close to being closed and then later on we can sew it together at the end all right so we're going to go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into our first double crochet not the chain one with the first double now we're going to do a chain one again remember that's not going to count as a stitch we're going to go back in to that same stitch that we slip stitched into and we're going to do two double crochets into that stitch so there's one and there's two and i know this yarn is dark and i do apologize for that now i'm going to work around and i'm going to put two double crochets in every stitch all the way around so there was two in the next one and then i will put two into the next one two into the next one and i'm going to repeat this pattern of two double crochets all the way around until i get back to my starting point all right i've made it to the end of round two and i have you should have 24 stitches now which i do have so we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet now we're going to start round three now we're going to work same half double crochet v stitches so we are going to chain one doesn't count as a stitch we're going to work right back into the same stitch again what we're going to do is we're going to work one half double crochet chain one and then back in the same spot another half double crochet just like that okay so that's the half double crochet v stitch in this pattern anyways half double chain one half double okay in the next stitch we're going to do it again another half double crochet v stitch so we're going to do half double chain one half double and we're going to do this in every single stitch all the way around half double chain one half double double chain one half double all the way around till we get back to our starting point all right i've made it to the end of round three and you should have a 24 half double crochet v stitches it's going to look wavy <clears throat> don't worry about that we'll take care of that later okay so we're going to go ahead and end round three by slip stitching into the first half double crochet of our first half double crochet v stitch now i like to tie my yarn off when i change colors that's just the way i was taught many many years ago when i was a little bitty little bitty tyke so i clip my yarn off because i'm going to do a color change here if you want to color change uh in the way that you do that's fine but i tie that off and i'm going to add in my new color which is my next color of blue now okay so you can start your new color wherever you want i'm going to start it towards the back right here in this last v-stitch that we slip stitched into we're going to go into the chain one space of the v-stitch and we will chain one into that like that and then we're going to put one single crochet into that chain one space of that v-stitch like that now we're going to jump over to the chain one space of the next V stitch and single crochet into that. So that was two single crochets we did in a row. Now the next V stitch we're going to be working into the chain one space of, we're going to work two single crochets into that spot. Like that. And then we're going to repeat so we're going to jump to uh, the chain one space of our next v stitch and we're going to work one single crochet chain one space of our next v stitch we're going to work one single crochet chain one of our next v stitch we will work two single crochets into that spot And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. Again, we're going to jump to our next V-stitch and 
single crochet into the chain one space our next one single crochet next one two single crochets like that so we're going to repeat that until we get back around to our starting point okay i've made it back around it's into round four now look now it looks tiny that's fine don't worry about it we'll take care of that too now your last uh stitch should have been two single crochets into the last v stitch now we're going to end by slip stitching into our first single crochet again i'm going to tie my yarn off because that's the way i learned many 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 years ago all right now we're going to start with our other color the blue again so i'm going to start right back here where i okay so this is where i taught off you can see the v stitches right here that we put the chain one spaces in, or we put the single crochets in between the chain one spaces we're going to work in between the v stitches now so we're not going to be working in the v stitches so here's a v stitch because there's a single crochet in it and here's a v stitch because there's a single crochet in it pop them open and right in between that's where we want to start our yarn what we're going to do is chain one we're going to go right back into that spot and do our half double crochet v stitch again into that spot so half double crochet chain one half double crochet just like that and then we will jump to in between the next v stitch you'll be able to see here's your single crochets from the previous round because they are a different color and you know they went into the chain one spaces of the v's so pull them apart and that's where your stitch needs to it's where you need to put your next half double crochet v stitch right into that spot half double chain one go back in and half double again like that we're going to do that again so look for your next two half double crochets right here pull them apart because you're going in between them and you work a half double chain one and half double again so this is what i'm going to work all the way around a half double crochet v stitch in between the v stitches from two rows prior i hope that's not confusing just remember look for your two single crochets from the previous row just remember they went into the chain one spaces of the v's so here are my v stitches i want to pull them apart and go in between the v stitches i don't want to go into the v stitches i want to go in between them this big space in between them so you got to half double crochet you got to go way down below this row all the way down in the next row half double crochet chain one half double crochet so i'm going to repeat this all the way around putting a half double crochet v stitch in between the v stitches every v stitch from the previous v stitch round i hope that doesn't get too confusing but soon enough we'll be on a roll and we'll be able to get it all done so i'm going to keep uh repeating that until i get back to my starting point all right i have made it to the end of round five uh, 24 v-stitches again and as you can see it's laying flat again just like we want so now I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first half double crochet of my first v-stitch in that round and then we'll start round six I remember I tie off if you don't want to tie off you don't have to tie off gives me more tails to hide but yeah it's the way I've always done it, I guess. Okay, so now we're gonna start again with our uh, color two. And we are going to work in the middle of the V-stitch from our previous round. So I'm just gonna start right here in the back 
Here's where I tie it off. I'm going to go into the middle of that first V-stitch. Now this time what we're going to do, chain one, and we're going to, I'm going to go back into that same chain one space and single crochet like that. Now I'm going to jump to the middle of my next V-stitch right here and I'm going to work two single crochets there. That. Then I'm going to jump to my next V-stitch, the middle of it, and I'm going to work one single crochet. And then the next V-stitch, the middle of it, I'm going to work two. Like that. Next V-stitch, middle of it, one single crochet. Middle of the next V-stitch, two single crochets. I'm going to repeat this all the way around for round six. One single crochet into the next V-stitch, two single crochets into the next, one single into the next, and two singles into the next. And it's slipping up again. Don't worry about it. That's cool. We're going to do that all the way around until we get back around to our starting point. Okay, I come to the end here. Round uh, six we're on. and two single crochets into that last v-stitch and then i'm going to end by slip stitching into the first single crochet here of the round now you have 36 v-stitch or 36 uh single crochets now it's all turned up again i went ahead and clipped my yarn now we're going to go around again with some v-stitches so we're going to start our repeat rounds now okay don't worry, this will get one row bigger, so it should fit in an adult. Let's hope so. So I'm switching back to my main collar, and I'm going to start anywhere here in the back. So round seven right now is going to start the repeat of the hat. So again, we are going to start in between, just somewhere in the back, the V stitches from two rows down, like we did before. So we're going to go like here, I put, you watch your uh, single crochets, you can see I put a V-stitch in the middle of that one, or I put a single crochet in the middle of that V-stitch, a single crochet in the middle of that V-stitch, so I need to work in between the V-stitches. So I'm going to start by chaining one from my first one, and then I'm going to go back in and put a half double crochet V-stitch I'm going to work. Half double, chain one, half double. And I'm going to do this in between every V stitch um, from two rows down. So here are my next two V stitches. I don't want to work in between them. So I'm going to go into that spot in between them and work a half double, chain one, and a half double. Again, in between the next two of V stitches, same thing. Half double, chain one, half double. And I'm going to do this all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round seven. Uh, 24 V stitches again and we're going to go in and end by slip stitching into our uh, first half double crochet of our first V stitch. I'm going to switch collars again and then we'll start round 8. Now remember 7, 8, 9, and 10 are our repeat rounds. So round 8 I'm going to bring in my other collar again. Sorry, it's tangled up. Now, what we're going to do is start in any V-stitch. I always like to start in the one that I just slip stitched into, into the chain space. Now, this time, what we're going to do now, from now on, when we're using this color, is in the V-stitch, the chain one space of the V-stitch, we will chain one to start, and we're going to work two single crochets into the first space. And then we will work two single crochets into every V-stitch this time all the way around 
into the chain one space of every v-stitch gets two single crochets as you can see I try to hide my tail as I go that way there's less tails to hide in the end but two singles in the chain one space of every v-stitch until we get back around to our starting point Alright, I come to the end of round 8, two single crochets there into my last stitch. You'll have 48 stitches now. Go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. And let's start round 9. Which is pretty much a repeat of round 7, but in a different spot. So we're going to switch collars again, back to my main collar. And we're going to be working in the middle of the V stitches from the previous round. So all you can see is you're kind of doing the um, opposite color kind of cattywamps from each other, as you can see. So in between the uh, any set of V stitches, I always somewhere around where I just tied off, start your yarn. And go ahead and do your chain one, half double crochet, V stitch into that spot. That. And half double crochet, V stitch in between the next V stitches. And I'm going to half double crochet V stitch in between every V stitch from the previous V stitch round. Just like that. So I'm going to continue along until I get back to my starting point. Alright, I have made it to the end of row 9. So we're going to, you got your uh, 24 V stitches, like always. End it the same by slip stitching into our first half double crochet. Tie mine off. Look at all them tails I got to hide. Fun, fun. Now we're going to start the last row of the repeat row 10, or round 10. It's pretty much the same as number 8. We're just doing it kind of catty cornered. You know what I mean? So the colors are just... So we're going to start in the chain 1 space of that V-stitch there that we just tied off in. Chain 1, 2 doubles into that same stitch. And two doubles into the chain one space. So two singles, oh, sorry, chain one, two singles into that same chain one space. And then two singles into every chain one space of every V stitch all the way around. Two single crochets. And we're working in every, v, the chain one of every V stitch. So I'm going to continue around two single crochets. Chain one space of every V stitch until I get back to my starting point. Okay, made it to the end of round 10, 48 stitches, and we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first single crochet. So now I'm going to tie that off, and I'm going to repeat 
around seven, eight, nine and 10 until I get my hat uh, a little bit further and then I'm gonna put a brim on it. I'm not quite sure how many rounds I'm gonna do, but I'll let you know here in just a second how many total rows I do. It might seem small at first, but when you get a V-stitch row on it, it widens out. We will end in a V-stitch row, so it'll be wider, and then we'll put a brim on it, and it'll all work out in the end. Let's hope anyways, huh? Fingers crossed. I never know until I'm finished. So, repeat rows 7, 8, 9, and 10, and I'll let you know how many rows I do here in just a second. Okay, I have went ahead and done a total of 21 rounds, and that is starting from round one up here. You can do it longer if you like, but I plan on putting a thicker brim on mine. So I ended in a V-stitch row, and I went ahead and tied off. Probably didn't really need to do that, but because I'm going to be using the same color. But anyways, uh, regardless, we're going to start in the middle here of this first V-stitch. And you can use uh, whatever color you want for the brim. Like I said, if you want to make this longer slashy hat or something, you can keep going uh, doing this as long as you want. So, 21. So, now I'm starting on row 22, which is going to be the brim. It's just going to be single crochet. So, I'm going to chain one. I am going to go into that chain one space and single crochet. Then, I'm going to single crochet in to the next half double. And then again into the next half double of the next V. The next chain one space of the next V. The next half double of the next V. The next half double again will be the next V. Chain one space. Half double. Crochet, single crochet into it. Single crochet into the next half double. Single crochet into the chain space. So basically what I'm doing now is I am single crocheting into every half double crochet and and to every chain one space of every V stitch. I don't really like half double crochets. They're, it's always hard to tell where your stitch needs to go. But anyways, I'm gonna continue around, working one single crochet into every half double crochet of, of each V stitch and the chain one space. All right, once you make it back around, you should have 72 single crochets. I'm gonna use a stitch marker here, and I'm just gonna do some continual rounds of single crochet to create my, create my brim. So I'm gonna go ahead and single crochet into the first single crochet over here. And I'm gonna work around, putting one single crochet in every stitch. So now we're on round 23 or round two of the brim. So I'll continue around working one single in every stitch. 72 stitches is what I'll have when I make it back around. And then what I'll do is I'll pull my marker up and I'll continue around again with rounds of single crochet until I get my brim as thick as I want. You can do it as thick as you'd like. Maybe you don't even want a brim and you just want to continue this pattern all the way down. That's up to you. It's your hat. You make it how you like. I'm just laying it out here. And then you guys can play it out as you wish. To your liking. So I'm going to continue around. And I'm, like I said, I'm on row 2 of the brim. Or round 23 of the whole entire hat. And I'll let you know how many rounds of single crochet I do for the brim here in just a second. Remember, you're, just move your stitch marker up and continue around again. You'll always have 72 stitches when you make it back around. 
All right, I have done a total of 25 rounds or four rows on the brim, and I still have 72 stitches. I'm gonna do a row of decreases now, and I'm gonna knock that 72 down to, st down to 60, so your hat doesn't flip out at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move, start on round 26, and we're gonna move our stitch marker up one. So we are going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna do a single crochet decrease over the next two. So we're gonna go into the next one and draw up a loop, and then into the next one and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three. That took two stitches and made it in the one. And that's what we're gonna repeat now um, all the way around for round uh, 26. One single crochet into the next four stitches. single crochet decrease over the next two so you go into the next one drop a loop into the next one drop a loop yarn over go through all three one single crochet into the next four single crochet decrease over the next two so I'm going to repeat this pattern of four single crochets in a row and then a single crochet decrease all the way around till I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, I haven't made it back around. Round 26, you should have 60 stitches now. Should have ended in a decrease. Pull my marker up. I'm gonna go around one more time for round 27 or round six of the, wait, or to be, yeah. This, I'm, I'm going to go round one more time, which will be my 27th round in total, or round six of my brim. And I'm just going to work one single crochet in every stitch. This will be my last round. No decreasing. Just one single in every stitch all the way around. All right, I've made it back around. I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch marker. I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into that next stitch. I'm going to tie off and that will be it. The hat is finished after you hide your tails. So I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out uh, all my other tutorials. If you look over there on the right hand side of the screen, I'm gonna put a playlist of all my videos. I have hundreds and hundreds. I'm gonna put a playlist of all my tutorials. I have hundreds and hundreds of free crochet tutorials. Um, I also do a lot of yarn um, uh, reviews and unboxings too. You can always check my channel playlist out for that. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks everybody for watching and have a good day.